Okay, one last video of the day. So this is more experiments in my delusions journal. So you know, I did a video not a while, ago, not long ago, um, showing that um, watercolors don't really work too well in the delusions journal. The paper pills. Um, I use journals with all kinds of paper in them, and so and I because I've always art journaled that way, don't have a problem with using some kind of base or prep if I need to. Um, cause I really like to art journal with junk mail and all kinds of stuff. Um, but as I said in the other video, I'm not a huge fan of Golden's Absorbent Ground. Um, for one reason that after you're done painting with it, you have to seal it with something. Um, they do recommend that you seal the piece. And I don't always like to do that. Um, also, it's not specifically made for watercolor. I did find this product, though, by Daniel Smith, and it's specifically for watercolor. It's a titanium white watercolor ground. I got it at Amazon. Um, this is like the only size jar it comes in, so hopefully it works because um, I have this big jar of it now. Um, so we're going to try painting some flowers on this journal page. I've got a set of Yas Yasum Yasumoto um, metallic watercolors. They're not very expensive. They're like six bucks, I think, at Hobby Lobby. And then I also have my Lowell Cornell set. I have a couple, actually a couple other sets too, but the, these are the two that I use a lot. So we're going to just paint some simple flower shapes and if it works out well afterwards I will be outlining them with a pen but let's see how this water this watercolor ground reacts to um, the paints on this paper. I'm hoping that and I gave it a nice thick coat and I let it dry for a couple days so it's really really good and dry. So I'm going to start I'm going to do um, a blue daisy shaped flower. It's kind of the flower I've been drawing and painting a lot lately. So I'm going to fast forward through this and we'll be back at the end and um, if I do find that it's pilling or something I will stop and pop in in between. Alright, I'll be back.
Okay, well, I have to say I am loving the Daniel Smith absorbing, um, sorry, Daniel Smith watercolor ground. I think I'm a huge fan. It worked great. I had no problems with peeling. It took the color really well. I am a fan. So we're going to let that dry, and I'm going to do some sketchy outlines with one of my pens, and I will be right back. Okay, let's do some sketching and some journaling, shall we? I'm going to do it with the uh, Pilot Multiball Pen from Jet Pens. It's got a very fine, thin nib on it. I'm going to speed through it and I'll be back. Okay, I have to tell you guys, this is one of my favorite pages I've done in a while. When I first started back into painting as an adult, I started with watercolor doodles and they are still my favorite. And I really like this page very much. It's simple, but it's pretty and it's fun. And holy cow, do I love Daniel Smith watercolor ground. <laughs> it is my favorite product I think that I have in my studio. I didn't use expensive watercolor paints. These are inexpensive paints. I worked fabulously with them. I'm sure the better the paint, the better the product is going to work. I definitely recommend it, uh, especially if you have a delusions journal that you want to watercolor in. Um, I don't know how it would react with Diane Reevely's spray inks, um, but it would probably be a good gesso to use for them because not only is it very absorbent but it would prevent anything from going through on the back side I don't know if you guys can see that but nothing came through all right give it a try see what you think and don't forget to go out today and do something nice for yourself you deserve it see you later